the evening star meets the king of the planets. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plow Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. Dean, I am so excited about next week. Let me guess, the Venus-Jupiter conjunction? Exactly. Most people get excited about eclipses or comets, and those are all great sky events, but I've always been fascinated by planetary alignments like this. And with good reason. Because of the changing positions of the planets in our solar system, we often see a few of them passing close to each other in the sky. Ancient star watchers took these motions very seriously because any motion they saw in the sky was interpreted as a message from the gods. Superstitions aside, I just think they look pretty. Besides, when you see the planets get close like this, you can't help but let your mind wander about the amazing cosmic forces that drive the planets in their orbits. You mean gravity? Yep. So, this is a good week to watch Venus and Jupiter get close to each other as June 30th approaches. What are we talking about? Let's show you. Okay, we have our skies set up for just after sunset near the end of this week, Thursday, June 25th, facing west, where we'll see two bright lights just below the stars making up the head of Leo the Lion. Leo's stars resemble a backwards question mark. The two bright lights you see are Jupiter and Venus. Jupiter is the one up and to the left, and Venus is the one down and to the right. Over the next few days, watch how Venus and Jupiter appear to trade places in the sky. Here they are on the night of Thursday, June 25th, then the 26th, 27th, and 28th. Man, look how close they are. But hey, what's going on over there near the moon? Yep, for you Saturn lovers, we have a double scoochie on the night of Sunday, June 28th. The waxing gibbous moon will appear super close to the ring planet Saturn. This will happen among the stars of Scorpius the Scorpion. Very impressive. Did you arrange that? Yep, months of planning and lots of paperwork was involved. Okay, back to the action in the western sky. Here's Venus and Jupiter on Sunday, June 28th, and this would be a great time to try to look at both planets with a telescope. If you look at Jupiter, you'll see its four largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Just before sunset on June 28th, Europa will be on Jupiter's left, and Ganymede, Io, and Callisto will be on Jupiter's right. Check out how close Ganymede and Io are. If you're viewing this in the Eastern Time Zone, you'll see Ganymede and Io get farther and farther apart as Jupiter sets. However, if you're viewing this a few hours later in the Pacific Time Zone, you'll see Ganymede slowly disappearing behind the giant planet. Now, if you aim your telescope at Venus on the evening of Sunday, June 28th, our evening star will resemble a waxing crescent moon just shy of being first quarter. Venus, however, is on its way toward the morning sky, so not only will the lit portion we see get smaller and smaller, but Venus's apparent size will get larger and larger. When Galileo saw this, it gave him evidence showing that Venus indeed orbits the Sun. Okay, let's continue to watch the planets as they wander across the sky. Here they are again on June 28th, 29th, and at their closest on June 30th. Yay! Don't get too excited, my friend. Remember the Horkheimer effect? Ah, uh, yes. We used to have a saying at the Miami Space Transit Planetarium that the chance of cloud cover at the time you're observing is directly proportional to the coolness of the event you're trying to see. We affectionately called it the Horkheimer effect. It's kind of like Murphy's Law for stargazers. During the transit of Venus back in 2012, we had 300 people at my planetarium, and just as the transit started, it poured down rain. Now that never happens to us in Cincinnati. So keep your fingers crossed for clear skies. And even if you do get clouded out on June 30th, you'll still have some excellent views of Venus and Jupiter in the days preceding and following. It's all there for you to see if you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.